boys and girls. It's Mrs. Jones, the early learning preschool teacher from Greenwood Elementary. I am here to talk to you today about print awareness and reading books. When I read a book at home and sometimes in school, I like to get really comfortable. So I got me this comfortable chair. And then I like to take a look at the book with my children and see if we can figure out some of the features. One of my favorite books is this one. And I always ask my kids, this is what part of the book? The front cover, exactly. And then this would be the spine of the book. And then when I turn it over, we're looking at the back of the book. But I really focus on the front cover because the front cover, it tells me the title of the book. The title of the book tells you something that, you know, a little bit of what the book might be about. So if I use the title and the picture that I see, then it might help me figure out what the book's going to be about. And I usually ask the children to predict what they think it's going to be about. Now this book says, it looked like spilt milk. It looked like spilt milk. And then I ask them, what do they think it's going to be about? Yeah, something looked like spilt milk. And with all of these pictures, huh, I wonder if there's something in the book that says something about all of these pictures, because all of those pictures are white like milk. Let's look at that title again. How many words are in my title? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five words in the title. And I know that these are words, individual words, because look, there's space between them. There's space between each of those words. So that's the space between the words. And this says, by Charles G. Shaw. He's the author. What did the author do? You're right, the author wrote the words. If the author wrote the words, what did the illustrator do? Yes, the illustrator painted all of these pictures and all the pictures that are in the book also. Another thing that we like to point out is that when you look at the spine, that's the part of the book that keeps it together. And I like to compare the spine of a book to the, our back, the middle of your back is there to keep your whole body together. The spine keeps the book together. Let's look at another one of my special books, uh, the book that I really like. I like all of these books that are over here, but here's one that I really, really like. <gasps> Have you seen this book before? All right, let's see. Front cover. This is my spine. And then this is my back cover. Now this book has this character on it, the back. And this character is in the corner. You're right, that's Dr. Seuss, like the cat in the hat. So if I pick a book that has something, has his picture on it, then usually that's a book that he either wrote or he illustrated or he helped to write. Because this one says it's by Robert Lop Schreier. He actually wrote the words. But Dr. Seuss had something to do with this book. Where's that title again? Yes, title's here. 
Put me in the zoo. That's one, two, three, four, five words. Where's that space between the words in the title? Here's some space, and there is some space. Now we looked at the space between the words. We looked at the words. Can you find a letter that gives you the mmm sound? What letter makes the mmm sound? There it is. That's the letter. The M. The M gives you the mmm sound. Now, when I'm deciding on what book to read, I usually pick some books that I really like. But I wanted to show you a book that's a little different. Look at this book. The spine is different. And even the book is different. This is a book that my son wrote, and he dedicated it to his mom. So I really like this book. It's very special to me. I'm showing you this book because you could become authors too. Because he says right here, Warren Jones. And let me show you the title page. Look. And he wrote this book when he was in first grade. It says, My Books. It says, written and illustrated by Warren Jones. So he's the author, he wrote the words, and he's the illustrator. He drew the pictures. I'm not going to read the whole book, but I'm going to read parts of the book for you. Oh, I like this part. This is my special part. Because it says... This book is dedicated to my mom. This book makes me very happy. Look at his illustration on his first page. He wrote, I think he ended up, they ended up typing their books, so it's types and not handwritten. But if you want to do a book, you could write on each of the pages. It says, I like books. They are so good. They helped me to learn how to be a good boy. And he put his first page there. There's his illustration. I'm going to turn you to the last page. I read this book every so often. Now, I got another special page. I probably read the whole thing, but this page, he has a picture of, you're right, those are letters. Then he has pictures of, you're right, they're numbers. And it says, I have some ABC books and some one, two, three books. I have an old bear book too. Some books have... No words at all. And I was wanted to show you a picture of him. When he was in first grade. There's the end of his story. That is the end. And I keep this book. And my son is now almost 30. So I've had that book for a long, long time. So what I want you to do is pick a really good book. Go and sit beside or in the lap of your mommy, your daddy, your grandma, auntie, uncle. And sit down and snuggle with them and read the book. Whatever book you read, try to pick out some words that you know. Try to look at some letters that you know. And I like to use my finger to go across the words. That way I know where to read and I know where I'm at when I'm reading. But thank you so much and hopefully you enjoy some really good books.